in the kidnapper's footprint. It'll lead us to Moriarty. All the chemical traces on his shoe have been preserved. So all the shoe is like a passport. If we're lucky, we can see everything that he's been up to. Oh. I need that analysis. Alkaline. Thank you, John. Molly. Yes. The following information is based off of the BBC Sherlock series 2, episode 3, The Rickenbach Fall. Some background information. Moriarty is Sherlock's arch nemesis and they are constantly combating using mind games. During this episode, Moriarty is out to destroy Sherlock's reputation after committing a string of crimes and tries to get Sherlock to solve them by compiling puzzles. Moriarty kidnaps a British ambassador's child from their boarding school during a family day and has a man that looks like Sherlock take them from their bedroom. Essentially, the kidnapper would try to starve them so they would eat candy laced with enough poison to kill them without using a weapon. Sherlock finds this abandoned chocolate factory by finding five chemicals in the residue of the kidnapper's footprints at the scene of the crime, the boarding school. First, they find alkaline with a pH strip, turning from yellow to blue. They find chalk, like chalky clay, asphalt, brick dust by dropping some substance onto a sample and bubbling and dissolving it, vegetation, the test file turning green, then Sherlock finds a glycerol molecule, glycerine propane, 1, 2, 3, triol 3, hydroxyl, functioning group. He finds that the last molecule is PGPR, used in making chocolate after the kidnapper left clues to the kidnapping resembling the Hansel and Gretel story. Exactly the same seal. Breadcrumbs. Uh-huh. Is there when I got back? A little trace of breadcrumbs. I'll buy a copy of fairy tales. Two children led into the forest by a wicked father follow a little trail of breadcrumbs. Was Hansel and Gretel? What sort of kid never leaves clues? The sort that likes to boast the sort that thinks it's all a game. He sat in our flat and he said these exact words to me. All fairy tales need a good old-fashioned feminine. The fifth substance is part of the tale of the witch's house. The crystal molecule. PGPR. What's that? It's used in making chocolate. 